Hey, what's up guys? My name is Joe Ignis. In this video, I'm gonna share how I got 15,000 referrals for all of my businesses absolutely for free. The process I'm about to go over with you has been used in door-to-door -door sales when I did that for seven years, in B2C sales digitally through Instagram, um, through big business to business sales, through the consulting business I run right now, and it will work for you regardless of your industry, skill level, and it's really simple. It's just difficult for people to actually remember to do it and get out of their comfort zone to apply. I think the biggest misconception most people have leading them to below average number of referrals is they don't ask every time because they think the situation has to be perfect. I'm gonna tell you right now, there is no perfect situation. It will always be awkward until you do it every single time. And you, there's no way you're gonna be able to read someone to know if they're gonna give you a referral or not, especially when you're starting out doing this process. Let me give you an example. Most people don't ask for referrals when someone's not interested. You've gone through a sales presentation at the end. Well, I don't think I'm gonna move forward or they're shaky at best. We, we, you don't know that they're gonna move forward. Most people say, well, because they're not interested, they're not gonna refer me to anybody. That makes no sense. And that right there is incorrect. You should ask for referrals. Just did this last week with a prospect, which I have no idea if she's going to be working with us on our consulting business, but she gave us a referral and that referral is already slated to sign up for a decent sized package. And it all came from just being positive and asking referrals every time, regardless of the situation. Number two, using who do you know versus do you know language. When you ask, do you know, you're setting up a yes or no question for your referrals. If you've been in sales long enough, you know if you're asking a pretty yes or no question and you don't know the answer to it, it's a bad question. Good salespeople know the answer to questions they ask. If there's an opening for someone to say no prematurely, you probably lose the sale and you'll probably lose the referral. So it's the same concept here when you're asking for referrals. It's the same saying, do you know someone, which could be that yes or no, you say, who do you know that would appreciate hearing about what I'm doing? The reason who makes a difference is because the answer to who is a name or a person, not a yes or a no. If you start saying, who do you know, you'll get way more referrals that way because people won't say, no, I can't think of anybody. Number three, use a story that relates to the person in front of you. If you're doing this correctly and you're meeting with someone who is a referral, and if they're not, that's fine too. Let's say they are a referral in this case, right? Share the story of how you met them. Hey, who do you know that appreciate hearing about this? Everyone sends me to four or five friends. So when you ask, right, who do you know that would appreciate hearing about what I'm doing? Use the story of how you met the person in front of you. Actually, that's the way we met. This person referred me here, and then this person referred me here, and then this person referred me here, and that's actually how I met you. And smile and be excited, enthusiastic, and assumptive that they're gonna give you referrals to the next person as well. The story normalizes sharing referrals where some people feel like it could be awkward. When you have that story, everybody does it, and so they should share as well. All right, number four, share evidence. So what does this mean? When you're asking for referrals, have the place where you keep all of your referrals, an Excel doc, written if you're really old school. <laughs> I used to do that. I don't recommend it. I recommend doing it online. Um, show that to people as you're asking for referrals. And there'll be like 100 or 200 referrals. And they're gonna, again, be much more normalized to sharing referrals. And they're gonna see the person above them give a lot of referrals, creating expectation that they should give you a lot as well, because you're an awesome person and what you do is a great thing. Again, this is regardless of situation and all of these steps, right? can be applied even if someone's not interested in what you're doing. And if you don't have anything like that, maybe you suck at Excel and you're like, man, I know paper's not the way to go. Just go to the link in the description, fill out the quick form so we can connect with you and we'll email you a free template to take referrals with all the categories that I would recommend to make the referral approach really beneficial. Number five, create expectations. So people often do um, what they think they're supposed to do. People like to fit in and make people happy. So when you say, who do you know that would appreciate hearing about what I do? And you insert this line right here. Everyone sends me to at least five friends. When you say at least, it's giving them a bare minimum that now they're shooting for five and it gives them the opportunity to go over five, giving you more referrals so your average could be around five, okay? So if you set that expectation, you can start joking with them when they say an objection like, I can't think of anybody. Well, no worries, everybody gives me five. Let me help you out with that because I know it just right off the top of your head. Um, what most people do is grab their phone or, you know, I've actually looked up some people that you know that I would love to meet. So that's called, that's called feeding. 
um, for a referral there or like um, coming prepared, right? Farming for it. So you can maximize this to help jog their memory, providing what we call memory joggers. And those memory joggers are things like your ideal client, industry, job type, and even printing out some connections from their LinkedIn or Facebook so that way they can see human beings that might be good or that is your ideal fit. Because if they know somebody that would appreciate it, right, and they're shooting for five and you're sort of joking like, okay, we need like three more, I've got two, then you'll just get way more referrals because it's much more fun and less awkward. Guys, it's that simple. If you follow these five steps, right, you ask every time, you say, who do you know versus do you know anyone, right? Um, you set expectations, you share a story, and you show evidence, you'll get way more referrals and you'll be much closer to averaging five referrals every single time. So that way you can get 15,000 referrals for all of your businesses too. If you like this video, please go ahead and like so we can shoot this out to more people and help more business owners just like you. Um, subscribe if you wanna see weekly content just like this. And if you wanna talk about growing your business, go to knowledgegapconsulting.com um, in the description and just go to contact us and let us know what you're struggling with and where you wanna go.